Good morning, friends. It's me, your old buddy, Red Yarn. Are y'all ready to get homespun? Well, good. Let's do it. Here we go. Well, we're going to get homespun. We're going to spin up our own fun. I got a good feeling it's a home run. Rocking and reeling with your dear ones. It doesn't matter where you come from. Everyone is healing around the same sun. So we're going to get homespun. Yeah, we're going to get homespun. Let's do it again. This time, kids, if you want to stand up and spin in a circle, you can. We're going to get homespun. Gonna spin up our own fun. I got a good feeling. It's a home run. Rocking and a reeling in your dear one. Doesn't matter where you come from. Everyone is feeling around the same sun. So we're gonna get home spun. Yeah, we're gonna get home spun. Good morning and welcome to Home Spun with Red Yarn. I'm so glad you're here today. Let's keep spinning. Hey, everybody. It's me, Red Yarn. How's it going? Oh, I couldn't quite hear you. You're going to have to be a little louder. How are you doing? Good. Kids, can you show me on your thumbs how you're feeling today? Are you feeling pretty good? Are you feeling really good? Are you feeling super duper excited to be together this morning? Me too. Is anybody feeling just kind of so-so? Is anybody feeling kind of sad or grumpy or tired this morning? You know, it's okay to feel all those ways, right? And some days we do. We feel down and we feel up and we feel all everywhere in between. But it's always good to be able to listen to your feelings and also to know some ways to cheer yourself up if you're feeling kind of down in the dumps. So I was hoping we could have some fun together this morning. Y'all want to have some fun together? Oh, good. How much fun should we have? What do you think? Should we have this much fun? More than that? Like, this much fun? More than that? Like, this much fun? More than that? Stretch out your arms and show me how much fun you want to have. You want to have that much fun? That is so much fun. I'm going to need your help if we're going to have that much fun today. Who remembers? How do we have fun when old Red Yarn, that's me, and my critters come around? What do we like doing for fun? First, we love singing. Put one finger up in the air like this if you love singing like I do. Good. We're going to sing together. So let's warm up our singing voices. Everybody take a big deep breath and sing. La, 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 la. Oh, beautiful. Put two fingers up like this if you like dancing too. Who likes to dance? Nice. Let's warm up our dance moves. Everybody give me a little wiggle in your seat so I know you're ready to dance. Nice boogie. All right. Um, raise one hand if you like animals. Who likes animals? Oh, good, so do I. And I brought a bunch of critters here today, and they can't wait to see you. And raise both your hands like this, and stick your tongue like this, and go, ah, if you want to get a little silly. Should we get a little silly? I think that's a great idea. Hey, there's a few things we got to do first, okay? Before we start the show for real, there's a few things we got to do. First of all, what have we been doing a lot of lately to keep our communities and our families and ourselves safe and healthy? Well, there's a long list of things we've been doing during this time, during the coronavirus or the, during the COVID time, right? There's a lot of things we've been doing. We've been staying close to home. When we do go out, we've been keeping safe distance between us and other people. Some of us have been wearing masks. Grown-ups should be wearing masks and big kids should be wearing masks too. Some of you little kids, you might have practiced wearing a mask also. Have you tried on one of those masks? How does that feel when you wear a mask? What do you think? Does it feel like you're doing your part to keep other people safe? Good. All right. But then there's one thing we've been doing a whole lot of lately, right? Every time we come and go from the house, every time we're going to eat, every time we go to the bathroom, what do we got to do? We got to wash our hands. So let's practice washing our hands really good. Everybody, turn on the water. Shh, get some water on your hands. Turn off the water. Shh, get some soap on your hands. Squirt, squirt, squirt. And let's sing Wash Your Hands Together. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands together. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands together. Scrub, scrub, scrub your hands. Scrub your hands together. Scrub, scrub, scrub your hands. Scrub your hands together. Now rinse, rinse, rinse your hands. Rinse your hands together. Rinse, rinse, rinse your hands. Rinse your hands together dry 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 your hands dry your hands together dry 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 your hands now clap your hands together 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying so safe. Y'all are awesome. Um, let's sing another song. Let's sing Beautiful Day. This is a good morning song. Um, everybody make a sun in front of them like this, okay? And sing. The sun has come up. The rooster has crowed. And I'm wide awake from my head to my toes. My friends are all here. We're ready to play. Good morning to you. It's a beautiful day. Yay! It is a beautiful day. And we're going to have some fun together. I'm so excited to be here with you all today. Let's see who all's tuning in. We've already got a lot of friends to say hi to. Zayden and Judah. Hi, buddies. Issa's watching. Royal's watching. Leo and George are watching. Noah's watching. Alex and Christopher from Virginia are watching. Um, Ella and Maya are watching. Alexander's watching. Uh, Brody's watching. Um, Colette and Amelia are watching. Cordelia and Tiberius are watching. Uh, Cascadia and Sierra and Patch are watching. Hattie's watching with her cousins from California. Alden and Lake, thanks for thanks for tuning in, y'all. Nico Rivers here. Jade and Derek, Derek, Dominic and Julian are here. And Sadie's watching too. Thanks for watching this morning, y'all. It's so fun to see y'all. I'm so glad to be together. Let's check in on a critter. Let's see what critters are here today. And I'll shout out some more kids too. So if I didn't shout out your kiddo's name, type it in the comments and I'll come back to that in a little while. And I'll say hi to some more friends, okay? Let's see which critters came. <gasps> oh, it's my old friend, Miss Molly Cottontail. I know a lot of y'all love Miss Molly Cottontail too. Can we call her out in a big voice? Everybody say, come on out, Miss Molly. Come on out, Miss Molly. <gasps> Here I come. Hi, friends. It's me, Miss Molly Cottontail. Say hi, Miss Molly. Hi. I'm so glad to see y'all today. And we're glad to see you too, Miss Molly. How are you doing? Oh, I am doing so good, Red Yarn. That's great to hear, Miss Molly. Why are you doing so good? Because I'm so excited. What are you so excited about? I'm excited about the big party that's coming up on Friday. What's the big party that's coming up on Friday? Red Yarn, have you forgotten? On Friday, it's the Backyard Bop! The Backyard Bop, how could I forget? I'm so excited about that too. It's true, friends. On Friday, we're gonna have a big Backyard Bop because Friday it is the official release date of, of our new album called Backyard Bop. So we're gonna have a big show on Friday and, and we're gonna have a big party in the backyard and I hope y'all can have a big party in your backyard too. But we've got a lot of work to do. If you're having a, a big party in the backyard, what do you gotta do? What do you gotta do to get ready for a big party in the backyard? You gotta decorate, right? Decorate, totally. You gotta make snacks, right? That's right, you gotta make snacks. You gotta figure out what kind of music you're gonna play, if you're gonna invite a band or, or, or play music on the radio or, or something like that. That's right, what else do you gotta do? Well, let's see, usually we would invite all of our friends over, right? But, but right now, we're not doing big backyard gatherings with all our friends. So we gotta be creative. We could, we could gather up all our stuffies. We could call up our friends on, on, on video chat and, and have them over that way. What else could we do? What else could you do? You could have everybody in your family who's living in your house get together in the backyard, right? Right, totally. You can bring your pets. Uh, maybe some of y'all are in a little quarantine pod with another family or, or with another um, with some relatives, so maybe you can have them over. But however you do it, y'all ready to have a big backyard bop? Yeah, let's do it. Let's have a big backyard bop. Okay, I'm going to keep getting ready, but, but I'll see y'all there. Bye, friends. Say bye, Miss Molly. Bye. All right, it's true, friends. This Friday, August 7th, we're releasing our next album, Backyard Bop. It's our sixth album. It's all original songs, and a lot of them are about having fun at home, in the backyard, in, in whatever outdoor space you got. And, uh, and we're so excited to share it with y'all. So I'm gonna play one of the new songs. This is, a, this is the title track. It's called Backyard Bop, and guess what? On Wednesday of this week, we're releasing a new music video for this song. So be on the lookout for that. It's got Miss Molly and a bunch of other critters, and it's so fun. Before we start the Backyard Bop, I'm going to say hi to a few more friends. We've got 
Oh, so many friends watching today. It's so great to see y'all. Eliza says hello. Hi, Eliza. Hudson's watching. Hazel and B are watching. Tiva's watching. Liam and Hazel are watching. Olivia and Lucas are watching. Dot is here. Eva's here. Emma and Evie are here. Mars says good morning. And the Cooper, Zoe, Nora, and Dustin are watching from Oklahoma too. Woo, so good to have so many friends here. Are y'all ready to do the bop? Let's do the backyard bop, y'all. I gotta show you some moves, okay? When we get to the chorus, we're gonna go like this. At the backyard bop. Can you do that with me? At the backyard bop. Come on in, everybody, hop. Hop with me like that. Now go at the backyard boogie. Come on and do the boogie woogie. Can you do the boogie woogie like this? At the backyard bash. We're gonna spin till we crash. And if you're somewhere safe, you can fall down on the floor if you want safely, okay? We're gonna spin till we crash. Yeah, everybody's hopping and everybody's bopping at the backyard bop. Can you try that at home? Okay, y'all, we're gonna try the backyard bop. Here we go, on electric guitar. Here, y'all ready? One, a two, a one, two, three. Everybody hop at the backyard boogie. Come on and do the boogie woogie. At the backyard bash. We're gonna spin till we crash. Yeah, everybody's hopping and everybody's bopping at the backyard bop. Keep dancing, y'all. All the little hip cats are coming round the block. The hill bit of hound dog is barking up the log. Part where Red Yarn tries to take a guitar solo with no other musical accompaniment. So I want y'all not to pay close attention to the guitar solo. I want you to dance like crazy. Are you ready? A two, a one, two, three, let's rock! Everyone is welcome, no matter where you're from. Cause when we share a backyard, we're gonna have to get along. So call your brothers and your sisters, and tell them everyone can come to the backyard bop. Come on in, everybody hop at the backyard boogie. Come on in, do the boogie woogie. y'all at the backyard bop with me woo little rusty on the old electric guitar i recorded i wrote and recorded a lot of the new album on this very electric guitar on this cool old rock and roll guitar um but i don't play it as often as i play my acoustic guitar that's my other guitar here so i'm a little rusty <laughs> but hey it was still fun thanks for dancing and not paying too much too close attention to the guitar playing y'all are awesome all right well that was the backyard bop that's the title track of our upcoming album, Backyard Bop. That track and the second song, Jump for Joy, are already up on Spotify and all those places. Um, we got a new music video for Backyard Bop coming out on Wednesday. Keep a lookout on Friday. The album is gonna be officially released out into the world so you can stream it and listen to it wherever you listen. You can order it, all that fun stuff. And on Friday afternoon, Friday, August 7th, this Friday, me and Miss Jessie 
and the Critters are gonna do a big album release show from right here. We don't get internet reception in our backyard and it's too bright and unpredictable out there. So we're gonna have a big backyard bot right here in my living room, sorry, but with a brand new backdrop. You're gonna get to see a lot of the Critters. It's gonna be super fun. So I hope you'll tune in Friday, August 7th, 4 p.m. Pacific. Um, it's gonna be super fun. I'll see you there. All right, let's keep the party going, y'all. You ready? Let's do it. Let's see another critter. Um, guess who came along today? Another critter who some of y'all might have in your backyard. Do any of you have any pets? Raise your hand if you have a pet. Uh, what's your pet's name? Cool. Uh, what kind of animal is it? Does anybody have a dog? Raise your hand if you have a dog. Does anybody have a cat? Raise your hand if you have a cat. Does anybody have another kind of pet? Some of you might keep chickens. Does anybody keep chickens? Does anybody have a, a goldfish? Does anybody have a, a, a bird? Does anybody have a bunny? Does anybody have a rodent? I would love to hear all about your pets. If you want to tell me about your pets in the comments, you can. I'd love to hear what their names are, what kind of animals they are. I've got a doggy right here because I know some of y'all love dogs. This is a dog and his name is Jim. Now Jim gets so excited when it's his turn to come out. We might have to help him calm down a little. So, so first let's call him out and then, then we might, I might need your help calming him down. Everybody say, come on out, Jim dog. Come on out, Jim dog. Here I come. Ruff, 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 Hi friends, it's me, Jim dog. I'm so excited to see you. See what I mean? He's so excited. Everybody say, calm down, Jim. Calm down, Jim. But, but, but I'm too excited. I don't know how to calm down. What's he got to do to calm down? How do y'all calm yourself down when you're too excited? You take deep breaths, right? Everybody take three deep breaths with Jim Dog. Here we go. Oh, that really worked. I feel so much calmer now. Hi, friends. It's me, Jim. Say hi, Jim Dog. Hi, everybody. It's so good to see y'all today. Thanks for coming. Hey, hey, hey. Were we singing about the backyard bop? That's right, we're singing about the big backyard bop. Do you love playing in the backyard? Oh, I love playing in the backyard. Uh, I love digging, uh, I love running around, uh, I love playing fetch, but but you know what, Red Yarn? What's that, Jim Dog? If I'm being perfectly honest, even in the backyard, I've been feeling a little bit cooped up this summer. Oh, I know. A lot of us have been trying to stay close to home, just do a lot of playing in our backyard, but it's easy to get a little cooped up sometimes and to start wishing for bigger adventures, huh? Well, big time. But, but, but guess what I got to do this weekend? What'd you get to do, Jim? I got to go on a big run out in the woods. Oh, that sounds so fun. It's true. I went running. I went, I went chasing critters. Uh, I went looking around at all the birds and all the beautiful nature. R raise your hand if you've been able to get out in nature a little bit lately. Has anybody been able to get out in nature? That sure does feel good for your soul and spirit when you've been feeling uh, cooped up. If you can find a safe place to go in nature, like a little hike or somewhere to go camping, that sure feels good, doesn't it? Oh, it sure feels good. So, so let's sing a song about a hound dog like me running through the woods. How's that sound to y'all? That sounds great. You got to do the echo part. Are you ready? Y'all ready to do a little echo? All right, let's practice. Here we go. Echo, 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 echo. All right, now do that with the words of the song. Sound good? Have fun, friends. Bye. Say bye, Jim. Bye. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, there goes old Jim Dog. All right, I'm glad Jim was able to get out in nature a little bit. Hope you all found a little time to get out in nature, too. Hope there's a safe place for you to go where there's not too many people and you can keep a safe distance and not have to to touch all the same stuff as other people. Um, we live, we're really lucky where we live in Portland. There's a lot of beautiful trails and woods and stuff nearby. So, hope you're finding a little time to avail yourself of that kind of cool thing. Let's sing a song called Old Blue. It's about an old hound dog like Jim. And y'all gonna do the echo part. You ready to echo back what I sing? All right, here we go. And his name was Blue. I had a dog, and his name was Blue. I had a dog, and his name was Blue. I had a dog, and his name was Blue. I had a dog, and his name was Blue. I had a dog, and his name was Blue. And I bet you five dollars he's a good 
dog too. Bet you five dollars he's a good dog too. Shop. You're a good dog. All right, keep it up, y'all. You sound great. When me and Blue went out to hunt, me and Blue went out to hunt. Blue tree and possum in a hollow stump. Blue tree and possum in a hollow stump. That old Blue was a good old dog. That old Blue was a good old dog. Blue tree and possum in a hollow log. Blue tree and possum in a hollow log. Dog howl. Here we go. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Bark like a dog. So hard, oh blue daddy died so hard. Shook a hole in my backyard, shook a hole in my backyard. That old blue died like a dog, that old blue died like a dog. Still I sing this hound dog song, still I sing this hound dog song. Y'all sounded great. All right, friends. Let's see what we got next. I think it's time to do a little birthday shout out. Y'all ready to help me celebrate a birthday? Good. Oh, we got some. We got some notes about friends and their dogs. Um, this is great. Oh, what do we got? We. Oh, first of all, Henry and Archie are watching. Hi, friends. And um, what else? Oh, Sarah's family has a dog named Piper. And she's a golden doodle. Ooh, she sounds really cute. Um, Angie's family has a dog named Otso. I like that name. That's cool. And Henry likes to pet his dog, Lucy. Her coat feels so soft and nice. Awesome. I love hearing about your pets. That's awesome. I've got an old dog named Jim Dog. It's great hearing about your doggies, too. Would y'all help me with something? Would you help me with a birthday shout-out today? Yay! We've got a friend who had a birthday last week and i missed the note about her birthday on the day of it so we're going to wish her a birthday a little bit late right now she is in a place called bangkok thailand she usually lives in portland but she's in bangkok thailand i don't know if they're on a trip or if they've moved there temporarily but that's a far way away from where i am at least so we're gonna have to sing extra loud today it's my friend aria who's turning six okay that's the only birthday shout out we got but we're gonna sing happy birthday to aria who's in Bangkok, Thailand right now, and we're gonna sing it really, really loud. Are y'all ready? Okay, help me out, here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Aria. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! make some noise for Aria. That was awesome. Happy birthday, Aria. I hope you had an excellent birthday. Three years ago, when Aria was only turning three years old, I got to be play at her birthday party, which was so much fun. I can't believe that three years have passed and that Aria is already six years old. That's amazing. Um, let's see another critter. Sound good? Good. Oh, we saw a doggy, right? We saw a gym dog, and we talked about um, some of our pet dogs. Does anybody have a pet cat? Yeah? Does anybody have cats? Nice. I'd love to hear your cat's name too if you want to tell me in the comments what your cat's name is. I've got a cat and her name is Max. And I was hoping we could call out Max the cat today. Does that sound good? Good. All right, let's call her out in a sweet voice. Everybody say, come on out, Max. Come on out, Max. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, she says, here she comes. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, everybody say, meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. 
Hi, friends. It's good to see you today. Oh, it's good to see you too, Max. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, but, but I need your help with something. What do you need our help with, Max? Well, it's about my friend, Jim the Hound Dog. Oh, we just saw Jim Dog. Jim's a good friend of ours, too. He's your friend also? Well, that's the thing. We're usually friends, and, and, and we usually get along, but, but, but sometimes, sometimes we just seem so different from each other. I don't know what to do. What do you mean, Max? I mean, like today, Jim just wanted to, to run around in the backyard and playing and jumping and barking and, and, and chasing balls and doing all that kind of stuff. And me, I just wanted to kind of lie in the shade and, and relax a little bit. Oh, so, so you don't always like to do the same things? No, no, no. He loves running. He loves jumping. He loves wrestling. And me, I kind of like to chill and take it easy. Does that ever happen with you and your friends? Like your friend wants to play one kind of way, but you want to play a different kind of way, and you kind of get in a little bit of an argument about it? Yeah, that's what's been happening with me and Jim. Well, well what can you do when you're, when, you're, when you're having some differences with your friends? What can you do? Do you have any ideas? What do you like to do, Max? Well, hmm, I don't know. Maybe we could take turns doing different kinds of activities. Oh, that's a really good idea. So, like, I could run and play with him for a little bit, but then after, like, maybe 10 or 15 minutes of that game, then we could relax in the shade and just chill and talk. That's a great way to take turns doing different games, different activities that, that y'all want to do. Totally. Um, but, but what about when we get in arguments? What about when you get in an argument? What can you do when you get in an argument? What do you like to do when you get in an argument? Well, sometimes we take space from each other and, and we both think about whatever we are arguing about. And then when we're feeling a little more calm, we can come back and talk about it. Well, that's another great thing to do. I love that idea, Max. Well, I've been taking a little space from Jim, but, but, but now that I've got some good ideas, I, I think I'm going to go ask him if we can take turns doing different kind of activities, and, and maybe if we get in any arguments, we can take a little more space and, and think about what's going on and then talk when we're feeling calm. That sounds awesome, Max. Well, hey, thanks for helping me think about that, y'all. Y'all are the best. Let's sing a song about cats and dogs. That sounds great. Meow, 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 meow. Everyone say meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Bye, Max. Thanks for talking. All right. Thanks for helping, Max. Y'all are great helpers coming up with good solutions for, for how my critters can work out their, pro um, their problems. And we've got a few cat shout outs right now. What do we got? Let's see. Oh, first of all, um, my friend, um, a uh, Kylie or a Kylie says hi. Hi, it's great to see you. Thanks for tuning in. And they have a cat named Sophie. Cool, Sophie sounds like an awesome cat. Um, Jennifer's family has a cat named Indy. Um, Tiffany's family has a cat named Dee Dee. And let's see, Dustin's family has an old cat named Playford. He's a very meowy cat. That's so fun. I love hearing about y'all's cats. Uh, let's sing a song about cats and dogs. How's that sound? This is another new song off Backyard Bop, all right? I'm going to teach y'all how the chorus goes. Here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to say, cats and dogs, do they ever get along? Dogs and cats, well, what you think about that? Can you do that with me when the chorus comes around? Cats and dogs, will they ever get along? Dogs and cats, what you think about that? Y'all ready? All right, if you want to play like a cat or a dog during this song, you can. And you can make lots of cat and dog noises. Here we go. Meow. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go.
so good well we've got some new some um some other cats to shout out today let's see what we got we have got oh uh charlie hazel and Gwynny are saying hello they're kids not cats they're saying hello hi friends um sean's family says maybe ninja and cleo are those your cats that's awesome i love those names um jesse's family has a cat named gracie nice uh noah has a dog named gus and a fish named Tiny Finn. So cool. Amelia and Colette have two cats. Sue B and Buddy. That's awesome. And Brittany's family is shouting out Jasper and Smee. The cats that they love. That's so cool. Thanks for, thanks for the cat and dog shout outs today. That's extra fun, y'all. Well, hey, we've got a couple more things to do. We're going to see a couple critter portraits. And then we're going to sing one more soft, relaxing song. Sound good? Good. Here we go. Critter time, portrait time, critter portrait time. Critter share, portrait share with you and me. All right, today we just have two critter portraits and they're both from the same prolific artist, my buddy Micah. Micah drew this one. This is me, Red Yarn, and Miss Molly planting carrots and can you see all the writing on it at the top it says Micah then it says red yarn then it says homespun then it says Miss Molly and then it's got my suitcase that says red yarn on the front of it Micah this is so cool and detailed first of all I really like the idea of me and Miss Molly working out in the garden planting carrots together that's a fun activity for us to do second of all I'm so impressed by your writing skills, all of these words you've written so clearly, and then all the little details, like the way you drew those carrots, and it looks like you did little triangles, and then you colored them in orange, and you did little um, loops at the top for the green part of the carrots. That's so cool. Micah drew another picture here too. This one is of Sis Goose. Ah, oh, there's Sis Goose. What a beautiful portrait of Sis Goose. I like the colors you chose. The gray and the blue. Oh, I think that's her um, That's her dress. That's right. Sis Goose hat wears kind of an apron and a dress that are blue and red. So, Micah, I'm wondering if that's Sis Goose's blue and red dress or apron. And there are her little orange legs and her wings and her beak. Oh, it's so beautiful. Micah, thanks for working on these beautiful portraits. 
and sharing them with me. I'm glad you're so inspired to draw and I hope some of you all are inspired to share some critter portraits too. In fact, I've got a special project for y'all this week, okay? With the Big Backyard Bop show coming up on Friday, I would love to have some artwork or some photographs of the kind of backyard fun you've been having at home. Now, I know not everybody has a backyard, so that's the first thing I want to say. Um, you can have backyard fun in your front yard, on the sidewalk, at a safe place at like the neighborhood park if you've got enough space. Some people don't have a backyard, but they might have a little porch or patio. Um, some people might have a stoop or a courtyard at an apartment building. So whatever your little outdoor space is, or even if you need to do it indoors, that's fine. I want to see pictures of you and your family and maybe your critters like your stuffies or your puppets or your pets having a backyard party, okay? You can take a picture of it if that's if you've been partying in the backyard and you've got some pictures you want to share. Or, kiddos, you can draw a picture of you and your family and your favorite critters having a party in your backyard or in whatever outdoor space you got. Send those to me on Facebook or on email, redyarnproductions at gmail.com. If you send them in before Friday, then we'll, part of our album release show is we'll be showing pictures of y'all's backyard bops, okay? If you want to put on some red yarn music and dance to that or start your own band, do something like that, the extra points for that, okay? And I'm, the, I'm, the, the coolest picture of a backyard bop, the, I'm gonna, those people are going to win all of my CDs, including my newest one. And the other five awesome backyard bops that I choose are going to receive a free digital download of the new album, okay? So send me your pictures of your backyard bopping, and I'll show off your pictures on my show if, you, if you'd like me to. And, um, and a few lucky winners will get some music out of the deal. Sound good? All right, y'all. Lots going on. Lots to talk about. We're going to sing one more song. We're going to kind of calm it down today with one more sweet old folk song called Buckeye Jim. Okay? <sighs> it's so good seeing y'all. It's so good having fun, singing songs, dancing together. But our, our time together is winding down. So let's all just sit, find a comfy place to sit. Maybe take some deep breaths to relax. <sighs> Way up yonder below the sky, bluebird lived in a jaybird's eye. Buckeye Jim, you can't go. Go even to Spain, you can't go. Buckeye Jim. Way up yonder above the moon, a blue jay nest in a silver spoon. Buckeye Jim, you can't go. Go even to Spain, you can't go. Buckeye Jim. Way down yonder in a wooden log, a red bird dance with a green bullfrog. But God, Jim, you can't go, go even spin, you can't go. But God, Jim. for relaxing a little bit with me y'all that was really nice oh it's been so good being together today thank you all so much for tuning in as you can tell i'm pretty excited about all the fun stuff happening in red yarn world this week so be on the lookout okay on wednesday be on the lookout for our newest music video for that song i played today backyard bop it's a super fun one you're not going to want to miss it mark your calendar for this friday at 4 p.m Pacific time uh, or 6 p.m. Central or 7 p.m. Eastern 
We're going to do uh, me and Miss Jessie, my wife and singing partner, and our critters are going to do a show from right here. There's going to be a new backyard backdrop, some other cool props and stuff from the, uh, from the videos and from the album. And we're going to sing a lot of the new songs, including ones I've never even performed for before. So it's going to be super fun, and I hope you can tune in. Please do share your photographs and drawings of your own backyard parties, your bo backyard bopping with your families and your critters. We'd love to see those and share those during our release show. And yeah, I hope you all have a great week. I'll be back on Wednesday at the regular time at 10 a.m. Pacific for my next homespun show. Sound good? Hey, if your family's in a position to donate today, there's a few ways you can do that. On Venmo, at Red Yarn, you can send um, donations. On Cash App, it's Money Sign Red Yarn. There's a PayPal link in my Facebook post. And also, you can support on a monthly basis on Patreon. If, if that's more your kind of thing. So thanks to everybody who's been chipping in. It has been making these shows possible and helping uh, keep all this creative work and my family afloat. So thank you so much. We got to do one more thing. We got to say, see you later. So everybody get your chompers out like this and repeat after me. Say, see you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. Well, I really got to go. Well, I really gotta go. Give me one more pretty smile. Give me one more pretty smile. Cheese. How about a high five for great singing and dancing today? And a pat on the back for good listening and safe bodies. And how about big hugs for being such sweethearts? Mm. It was great seeing y'all today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Stay tuned this week for more exciting stuff with the release of Backyard Bop. I'll see y'all on Wednesday morning and on Friday afternoon or evening too. Sound good? Bye, y'all. Have a good start to your week.